over, but there's still hope for some bills that had a favorable response, including a piece of legislation that would soften penalties for teenagers who commit certain crimes. New tonight, we talk with a lawmaker who says he has a bill that would put troubled teens on the path to success. I practiced juvenile law for a long time. It was a, a small shoplifting case. It was a small fight that, that was on their record for eternity, preventing them from getting into colleges, uh, getting jobs, getting into the military. Representative Dwayne Hall is championing legislation that would raise the age from 16 to 18 for someone to be tried as an adult if he or she commits a misdemeanor. House Bill 725 aims to move those cases over to the juvenile justice system and offer young offenders and their families more support to rehabilitate. It passed 61-37 on Friday in the House. It's the way that uh, 48 other states in America already treat juveniles. Uh, North Carolina was the next to the last now that is going to finally develop a juvenile system. People are mixed about the idea of softening penalties for criminals of any age. It just depends on the severity of the crime. I mean, if it's just something minor, everybody deserves a second chance. I think it should be known, like if you're going to apply for a job and you had broke in somewhere when you were young and you're working with someone's money, they got a right to know that you was a thief. And I mean, even though you do your time, it's still the person's right to know, I think. But Representative Hall believes this will make a positive difference in North Carolina. He practiced juvenile law for years. I've had a, a kid in my office in tears because he was about to get a conviction and he was about to go into the Marines. His whole family was there. And this gives him, you know, that one last shot to not have a permanent criminal record for a juvenile mistake. He believes in the next session the bill will make it through and into law. Now, many law enforcement agencies and district attorneys have concerns about how much it would cost to move so many cases into the juvenile system. Earlier this year, Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Chief Rodney Monroe co-wrote a letter with the Children's Alliance in support of the bill. Well, compromise